Well, it is Thursday, May something, and uh, yesterday was uh, nothing but riding in the wind in Oklahoma. Winds were about 30 to 40 mile an hour. Most of the time they were out of the south, but uh, there was one section I was headed directly in the wind. It's about uh, now 30, 40 mile an hour, and I, the little 250 did good. I had to put it in fifth gear and run along about 7,000 RPM at 55 mile an hour. It uh, worked out real fine. Wind was too hard to uh, <clears throat> set a tent up last night, so we stayed at the Ramada Inn in uh, Enid, Oklahoma. Mileage yesterday, again, was right around 400, 405 miles. Today, we're gonna make it uh, finished to Oklahoma, and we are gonna camp uh, for the first night either in New Mexico or Southern Colorado. We'll decide when we get there. We're packing up, fixing to head for breakfast. Weather is uh, slightly overcast. Temperature is about 58 degrees, and the wind's starting to pick up again. I love the wind, don't you? does all he can to pretend she's not there at the library she looks right over at his books just to see what he's reading what she'd do for just a taste that took a love grace to try and stare his heart even just a touch his hand would be enough though that he can Love's gas station in Beaver, Oklahoma. It, uh, we were heading west on 412 and I was getting a low fuel light, so we turned north for 13 miles, came to Love's gas station. I got ethanol free gas, and my gas tank holds 3.1 gallons. I pumped 3.06 gallons into it, so I was almost out of gas. Anyway, they got a Subway sub shop here. We're gonna get a sandwich and then we're gonna keep on going. See you later. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we pulled into the Love's gas station in Boyce City, Oklahoma. Ground zero of the Dust Bowl from the 1930s for those of you that know anything about history. We're gonna gas up here. I think we're gonna continue southwest on 412 down to Clayton, New Mexico. And we're gonna camp someplace in New Mexico tonight. The wind has finally stopped blowing like hell. It's nice and nice and smooth now. I had a little tailwind a few minutes ago. And my gas mileage is probably up around a thousand miles per gallon now. So anyway, we're gonna, I'll let, hell, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I'll talk to you later, goodbye. But when she comes home,
Well, we just crossed into New Mexico here. Life is good. I got my picture taken by the sign. Anthony took it for me. I'm going to move my bike out of the way and bring his in. So, talk to you later. Well, it's Friday morning, May the 8th, and it is about 7 a.m. in Springer, New Mexico. We stayed at the Oasis Motel last night, full of construction workers. It was nice. Motel is located near the intersection of uh, I-25 and 412. We're going to continue on 412 on some little back roads across New Mexico over towards uh, Taos this morning. And we'll probably spend the night. Uh, we'll put about 300 miles in. Easy day, and then we'll get up uh, tomorrow morning and have a nice couple hundred miles in the ride, uh, ride in the Monument Valley. It was it was really good. Woke up with a crick in my neck from these cheap ass pillows they have at this motel, but that's all right. The room only cost us 30 bucks a night, and it was it was pretty good. Started to walk down the Mexican restaurant down the street for supper last night, but it closed at 3 o'clock, so that shot that in the butt. So we walked next door to the convenience store and got a ham sandwich with cheese and bread wrapped up in a plastic bag. But it's all right. I had my coffee this morning, so my headache is starting to disappear, and my mood's getting a little better. I will feel really good if I can find me a $20 motel tonight that has a good pillow. Goodbye. Oh, and by the way, yesterday was a 425 mile day on a little WR. It's running perfect. So am I. The only thing I did was clean it up a little bit, spray a little chain lube on the chain, and everything's perfect. We've been about 1,700 miles or more, and chain has not stretched at all. Of course, I didn't think it would with 20 horsepower and 55 mile an hour speeds, but that's my speed nowadays too so all right i'll give you an update when we stop for steak and potatoes at the gas station
Goodbye. Stopped at little travel center here on the way out of uh, town from Springer. I had a little bit of French toast and the coffee was good. Waitress are real cute. Got my picture taken with her. Uh, this little place is located at the intersection of uh, New Mexico 58 and I-25. We're fixing to head west on 58. We're going to head over through the Cimarron Canyon. It's going to be really beautiful. I was here about 25 years ago on my R100 GSPD, Paris Dakar model BMW. But what I remember, it was really, really beautiful. That was in the fall, the leaves were changing. This is in the spring, so maybe we'll see some, some new growth and everything. But uh, we're gonna head on down. See you later. Highway 64 westbound, and we are just south of Tierra Amarillos. We're at 10,300 feet, and it is starting to snow. So I plug my Gervin jacket in, turn my heated grips on, and life is good. We're going to stop down at uh, Tierra Amarillo and get some coffee, and then we're going to continue on. See you later. just came over the mountain pass on New Mexico 64 between Trace Amarillos with yeah, uh, Trey Piadras and Tierra Amarilla. It's a 48 mile stretch of mountain road and it is awesome. Had to put the little whizzer in uh, fourth gear on a couple things because the grades were eight and nine percent we're over ten thousand feet but it did just fine 
RPM is around 7,000. I don't run any more than that. Stopped at a little Chevron gas station here. Got some gas. I'm off, I've got me a, what the hell is that? True Mood chocolate milk. And me some peanut crackers as almonds for lunch. New Mexico right now pulled into a little park here they're having a wonderful art show but those of you that know me know I'm not really that interested in art but uh, anyway they did have a nice series of portalettes because I had to pee real bad because I drank three cups of coffee this morning and it was about time so anyway I'm gonna take a picture of the portalette so you guys can see where I did my business goodbye It's been a hell of a day. We were gonna stop short and get a motel room, but wasn't any available. We ended up doing about 450 miles. Finally ended up in Blanding, Utah, at a little motel, it's nice. Temperature dropped, it's in the low 40s right now, starting to rain. And on the way up here for about 30 miles, I was fighting a 50 mile per hour headwind and it just about blew me to pieces. Anyway, the little WR did great. There was a couple of places I had to drop down to fourth gear to maintain about 50 mile an hour, but it's all good. Got the keys to the room, they didn't work. Anthony walked around the corner to the office getting new keys. And they got a steakhouse across the street, so we are gonna celebrate coming to get into Utah and have a steak tonight. See you later.